morning everyone. Uh, today is uh, Box Open Day. Uh, box Open Day is now going to be a new thing where every month or so I will get a box of the newest set and I will open it up and then I will value all the cards at their, at their price. So today I have a Magic Corset 20 um, Deck Builders Toolkit for my local game store um, and I just got it yesterday. So we're going to open it up and we're going to see if we get any cool rares. Um, if you would like to support this channel, please go to cardkingdom.com. And uh, there is an affiliate link that I will put in the description um, so that you can support. Not my channel, it's uh, another uh, YouTube channel to support. Um, but let's get to opening it. So first, I will need a knife. Just use a pencil, it's good for now. Again, I, I was late to N20. I um, didn't get to do any of the early stuff, so. So this is actually my first few cards. Um, the first time I touched M20. So we, of course we got the magic box. And then we got the brand new magic, the gathering course at 20. Holding box. Um, of course, in the box there is a deck builder's guide, and it'll give you like the guide to everything that's in this in this um, in this entire set. So, um, tells you that um, there are a hundred basic lands in this box, a card box, four booster boxes. I mean, four booster packs and uh, a bunch of random cards. Um, and you will see it on the back of the box here. Um, so let's get to opening. So we open the box and it shows up like this. So you over, uh, right about, right about here is all the, is, uh, see, this is, um, this is lands right here. These are all lands right here. And then... You got the random cards here, and then you got the booster packs, and then you got like something in the middle here. So it's not much. You don't get a dice with this. You don't get a play mat. It's seventeen dollars easy to buy. It's way better than buying it in four booster packs. So we got four booster packs. Um, we got one from Corsa Twenty Twenty, War of the Spark, Ravnica Allegiance, and Guilds. It's not all the same one, but. You get $16 worth of boost pack from one from the most recent sets. Um, and then let's get to opening. So the card separator, you don't need for right now. So let's start opening the random cards. And then later on, I'm going to make another video pricing all these cards. And I actually went to my local game store to buy a 800 count storage box. <coughs> Fits all the cards. It's all the cards side by side, not vertical, horizontal. Um, and I typically like to use something like this to possibly separate the stuff if I need to, but I actually have another way of do doing it. So we'll get that to that after. But let's start opening the random cards. And once again, I am an idiot and I cannot open this. This is probably going to be one of my last videos before I'm back in for school because once school starts, I won't be able to do much for my channel once again. So, so we're starting to open. So the first, so we're going to go through some of the rares that we'll get. And of course we'll get like random, um, we'll get mountains and stuff like that. So, so first rare card we have is Grass Mammoth. It's a three green and three. It's an elephant with trample and it says other creatures you control have trample. It's an 8-8 eight, eight for six. Not a bad card. We're actually, I don't have my play mat on. That was on me. Um. Alright, so next card is in red, is 
the Ship and Dragon. I have this card in the older sets as well. Um, it's a 2 red and 4 for a 5-5 five five flyer. And it says pay red. Ship and Dragon gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. Not bad. Next card we have is in black. And is Gravewalker. So, um, Gravewalker. It's flipped upside down, but um, yeah, Gravewalker. It is two black and four um, <coughs> four generic for a five five flyer. And pay two black. He pays seven two black and five generic. To return target creature to the battlefield from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Good, good graveyard recursion. As long as you don't have any graveyard hate, like a sentinel totem. Or, um, I'm just trying to think. There's other cards that will exile your graveyard. So next one we have is in blue. It is the Riddle Master Sphinx. For two blue, four generic. Um, it's a 5-5 five, five flyer. And it says... When it enters the battlefield, you may return target creature and opponent that controls to its owner's hand. I don't like this card, honestly. But this one is my favorite. It's called Sarah's Guardian. I have a copy of this, but it's not in the greatest condition. It is a... It's two white and four generic for five, a 5-5 five, five flying vigilance. And it says other creatures you control have vigilance. So that's good for a lot of... Um, I use this in typically an angel deck. Or something like, I don't know, um, maybe life gain would be nice. Um, and then going through and get like a bunch of the islands from this set. And then we're starting to get <laughs> some random... Um, blue cards, so we have like Radical Idea, Draw Card, Quench, Counter Spells. Um, we're starting to get into white. We're separating this out a little bit. And then we get the planes from this set. We're gonna actually get to separate the stuff from here. Passism, Raise the Alarm, Law Room Enforcer. All those great ones. And we get multicolored cards. So now we're starting to get into these multicolored stuff. So a couple of them I do like, and a couple of them I already have. Um, Iron Root Warlord, it is an uncommon. One white, one green, and one generic. Iron Root Warlord's power is equal to the number of creatures you control. So it's the power's number of creatures you control, but it has toughness of five. And it says pay a white, a green, and three three generic to make a one one white soldier creature token so that's good for token decks because you can make this huge if you're in green you can give a trample if you're in white you can maybe give a double strike if you were lucky um but it's a great card creeping trailblazer i already have it it just gives other elementals plus one plus oh and it will and you can pay four to give it plus one plus one for each elemental you control I have that one. Oh, here's one I do not have. It's the Tomb Bound Lich for a one black, one blue, and one generic. And it's a 1 3 Death Touch Life Link Zombie. And when it says when it enters the battlefield, there's combat damage to a player. Draw a card and then discard a card. It's good. It's a good card. It's a great card. So next we have. Iron Threat Creatures, it's a uh, Scuttle Mine. Um, it is a 3 cost Scuttle Mine, no colors, and it says tap it to add 1 mana of any color. Or, you can tap it and target creature becomes a color or colors of your choice until the end of turn. So, you if there's a card that says can't be blocked except by... Um, these creatures, you could um, tap the Scuttle Mutt to give another artifact creature, per, like, not protection, but it becomes those colors. So you can say, oh, this is now a red until end of turn. Now I can block. 
actually a decent card. Um, we got all the red mana here. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Oh, that's the lands. We're not doing lands yet. All right. And we'll do the boost packs afterwards. Or um, I might save the booster packs for a video. I know the course at 2020 I'm going to keep, but the other three I don't know what I'm going to do with right now. Um, Alright, so we'll bring the next one. Um, so a couple cool things about the set is it does have life gain lands. Um, like the one on the top here is uh, Swift Water Cliffs. And it enter, it's a land that says when it enters, you gain a life. It's not bad, honestly. If you if it's a dire situation, if you're playing, if you're playing, I don't know, if you're playing Boros and you get one of those and you have a couple of Johnny's Primates out there, it's pretty good. So we get a few lands here. So uh, Swift Otter Cliffs, Scarred Barrens, Blossoming Sands, Rug Highlands. It's all stuff that says when it enters enters tab to gain life um, and then we have our random cards uh, if I find any and I really do like I'll show them. but I don't I'm not seeing anything so in fairy eight um, one red gives a creature plus three plus two until end of turn not a bad instant um, so our thirst bloom hole I'm actually putting these in different colors here red 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 black Bloom Hulk, Thicket Crasher, a bunch of those are good. Leaf Kindreds, those are good um, for a ramp deck because you can have a bunch of small tokens, but it can tap for two green. Um, next we have Swamps, go over in our land pile, and Islands, what else we got? More Islands, and then we're starting to get more uh, non basic lands, um, more ETB gain life. Um, Chandra's Ember Cat, uh, one red and a generic to tap and add a red and spend it only to cast an elemental snare, a spell, or a Chandra Planeswalker spell. I'm hoping I do get a couple Planeswalkers from this set because I am very far behind. I have not bought any booster packs, any booster boxes, any of none of that. I've had no time to do it. Um, forests, mountains, more lands. Next, next pack. This one's a big one. Um, I might just open the booster packs. I'll see what how much time we got. Um, because I am running um, a little short on time because I do have something going on today. Um, yeah, so if you need, if you want me to do more of these um, box opening videos, please uh, shoot me a comment, shoot me an email, shoot shoot me a like, because. I'd be happy to go down to my game store, and I'm trying every set to get one of these and open them to show people how good they are. Um, and God, this one's a huge pack. All right, so starting off with once again more non-basic life gain lands. In the black, we give the new text. For a murder. Um, when I attack, draw a card, lose life. That's basically a vampire in itself. Swamps. Vampire. Going. We got more swamps. Alright, now we're starting to get more artifacts. Alright. Pattern Matcher. It is four for... A 3-3 golem and it says when it enters the battlefield search the library for a card with the same name as another creature or control or be lit and put it in your hand and then shuffle to the library so Shadowborn Apostle uh, Grove Chamber Guardian um, Temp District so, something with a lot so Persistent Petroneers or Shadowborn Apostle stuff that you can have any number of that's a good card um 
heard of this one, Diamond Knight. It's uh, it's a uncommon three mana for a, a one one Vigilance Knight. <coughs> it says when it enters the battlefield, choose a color. So any of the five colors. Um, whenever you cast a spell of the chosen color, put a plus one plus one counter on Diamond Knight. Not bad. Let me get back into more green stuff. It's weird. I opened a booster box of War of the Spark, and I didn't get a single Paradise Druid. Um, it's weird, honestly. Overcome. Creatures you control get plus two, plus two, and gain Trampet. For five mana, I don't know if that's a good card or not. <coughs> it's hard. Starting again to the <clears throat> blue cards. Ah, I just ran out of these. Bond of Flourishing. Look at the top three cards. Reveal a permanent. Put the rest in the bottom. You gain three life. I'm looking at making an elemental deck, honestly. I really do like this hat. Um, more reds. So here's a, here's a nice card. So you have the Max. So Max of Immolation. It is one red and one colorless for an artifact equipment. It says when it enters the battlefield, make a 1-1 one, one red elemental creature token and attack massive inhalation to it. Equip a creature is sacrificed this creature does one damage. So it's basically a Tibble's Razor, except it's a 1-1. One, one. And you can, of course, equip two. So equip it to a zombie mass, a zombie army, sorry, a sapperling. Something like that if you're playing in red. Um, so we put this under artifact. Lands. Finding more lands. Alright. So we did get his first planeswalker. It's Chandra Novus Pyromancer. For a four. So it's one red and three generic for a legendary planeswalker with five loyalty. Plus one. Elementals you control get plus two plus zero until end of turn. Negative one is add two red mana to your mana pool, and it's minus two is it does two damage to any target. It's good for an elemental deck, especially with the uh, the other um, Chandra that makes one ones, and then you can have this one. So it's like, oh, here's three ones that are flying in with haste, and they get sacrificed. You can do that every turn as long as you have both planeswalkers out. So there we go. Uh, more black sp black spells. Starting to, okay, so Angel of Viality. I'm I actually have a Planeswalker deck on MTG Arena. Uh, also, there's a video that came out if you want to play it on your mobile device. I have been playing it on my mo mobile device recently because I like it. Uh, so Angel of Vitality for a one white two generic uh, for a two two flying angel. If you would gain life, you would gain that much life plus one instead. And it says it has plus two plus two as long as you have 25 or more life. So it can be a four four if you have that much life. So a bunch of angels and Johnny's primate. Once again, another good card. That's it for that one. So we have this last pack. And then we can jump right in to our booster packs. Um. The core set 2020. I'm hoping that I get Dread Presence or what I think that's what it's called. The one where um, you, when a swamp enters, you either uh, draw a card, lose life, or it does two damage to something you need to like. Or I would like the Soren from the pack. The one with the two plus ones and the minus three. That one's very good. I want to make a deck out of it. Um, I also wouldn't mind a ley line of the green one. Those are good. So we're getting more non-basic game life lands. Those are good. I've been trying to keep up with those. Um, more red stuff. Blue. Wolf's Claw. Yep. So Soren's Thirst. Spark Harvest, yep, some of that stuff is good. Um, Gateway Plaza, that's uh, not basic, but those are okay. More lands, more lands. 
dead weights, not a bad card. Cloud Concealer, not a bad card either. Evolving Wilds. Okay, we'll keep these off to the side. We'll talk about those in a second. And those are lands. So here we go. So we got um we have um uh, five more um colored cards. So Risen Reef is the first one. It's called Risen Reef. For one blue, one green, and one generic. And when it says one Risen Reef or a number elemental enters the battlefield, look at the top card. If it's a land, put in play tapped. If you don't put the card onto the battlefield, put it in your hand. That's good with the um the land from this set, the one where when another land enters you make a zombie. So if you have a bunch of these and you keep putting lands into play and you keep doing that, it's gonna trigger multiple times. It's a great card. Um Sky Sky Knight Vanguard, not bad for a so it's a Boros, so a Boros just one red, one white. For a one two flyer. And when it says when it attacks, create a one one soldier token that's tapped and attack. Not bad, honestly. But the one one it could cross cause problems. The Mulder Vine recl Reclamination, it's a uh a, a Three generic, a black, and a green. For whenever a creature you control dies, you gain a life draw card. I just actually got that card on Arena because I'm making a Sapperling deck with Slimefoot, so it's good. Uh, Corpse Knight. When another creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent takes takes one. Not bad for a black and a white. And then for all those people that like dragons out there, um, here is a blue red. Is it? Uh, Elemental Wizard with Flying in Haste. It's a 2-2. Two -two. That's a good card. So that's everything here. So we got a bunch of red, blue, green, white, black, colored, four artifacts soon to be waiting. Um, Got our colored stuff. Got our 100 lands. Great. Our non-basic life gain lands. Our gateway plaza. And our bottom lands. So let's now, for the video, let's open up the Corset 2020 booster pack. It is currently $4. Um, I do have a list up here right now. And I'd like to see if I can get a, a really good card. Um, so, opening up the pack. Of course, I like to take out the land, but I actually just want to wait until the end. So, we got a black skeleton, angelic gift, healer of the gate, when I enter the game through life. Epicure of Blood, not a bad card. Reckless Airstrike, just destroy target artifact. Uh, that's not bad, that's not bad. That's not bad. Rain words. Gauntlet of Lights for a one white, two colorless enchanted creature. For it gets plus O, plus two, and assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. So the enchanted creature has one white and two colorless and untap this creature. Not bad. We have another scuttle nut. Scholar of the Ages. Um and we'll go here. And so we take out our So you got the cool new tokens now. The one one white soldier. Got a land. So our, um, this is our, this is our rare for the deck. So it is a Scryland, which I would love to actually look up how much this is. It's Temple of Maladi. It is a rare land, and it enters the battlefield tapped, and when it does, you scry one. It could be a good card. I don't know how much it is. It's questionable. Um, but if I were to open up any of these other packs, War of the Spark, the only thing I would want is a Teferi, 
Ravnica legions. I don't have anything I need. Guilds of Ravnica. Maybe uh, maybe a maybe a ta uh, a Shockland. I don't know. So we're gonna go on TCG player. Um, that's what our store uses for pricing cards. So we're gonna look up Temple of Maladi. So it's only a dollar sixty-two. It's actually a dollar seventy-nine. So well, I got a dollar seventy-nine card. I wish I had a sleeve, but I'll keep this over here for now. Um, let's go ahead and open up the packs. There's no point in doing something else. So we're gonna do Spark next. So I'm hoping for Teferi or something like that. Um, so let's see what we can get. Spellkeeper Weird, Tullet Org, Pouncing Lynx, New Horizons, Aid the Fallen, Obnixilis' Cruelty, Totally Lost, La Rune Enforcer, goes here, Burning Prophet, Rentless Advance, Leyline Prowler, that will go in my color box, Ugin's Conjurant, Jaya Burden. Verdinated Fire Mage, uh, a Mountain, and a 1 1 Goblin. So our rare is Ravnica War. It is a 1 White and 3 for a sorcery that says Exile All Multicolored Permanents. Not a card I was looking for. Uh, I'd love to look up this card real quick. Rav. Uh, war. Yeah, it's sixteen dollars. I mean, sixteen cents. Sorry, not sixteen dollars. Well, let's do elite. We'll just go down by the sets that have came out recently. So we'll do uh, Ravnica Legions now. Um, Ravnica Legions. I haven't played a lot of, so I don't know what I'm expecting to get. Of course, take out the token, a 1-1 one, one spirit, Feral Macaque, Night of Sorrows, Coral Commando, Grevenhag Goblin, Steel Creeper, Under Cities, Embrance, Druce's Portal, Final Final Payment, not, not a bad card, Act of Treason, Imperious Oligarch, Thrilled Mystic, Bleska Belhaunt, Smell weren't um, Ingus in a Zoria skill gate. So the, the rare for this one is Guardian Project. Heard of this card? It's a great card. Whenever a non token creature enters the battlefield under control, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature you control or creature card in your graveyard, draw a card. Commander. Easy. It's a great card for Commander because you're not going to have. A card that's the same name of it. So, except if you're in green, you won't. So, you're always going to be drawing an additional card. It's basically when it en when a creature enters, you draw a card. An additional ability. So, we'll look it up. Guardian Project. Oh, okay. That's not a bad card. So, it is... Two dollars and seventy six cents, and now for a guild. Uh, I forgot the one thing I did want from Ravnica Allegiance is a smothering tide. I do want that card. Um, so, call it the culprit. That's a evulsion. That's a little bit. It's it's a it's a instant target than citywide bust. Color to culpit is destroy target creature toughness for the greater. Uh, citywide bus is destroy each creature. So it's basically over overloaded. Pass well adapts. Max lines velocity. Healer's hawk. Pax favor. Child of the night. Dead weight. Under city uprising. Creature you control gain death touch. And then they and then target creature fights a creature. 
Perhelion Control, Knight of the Masses, Rock Charger, Aspiring Unicorn. Um, so we get a Demir Gilgate. Um, then we get a Bird Illusion. So, oh, oh wow. We got lucky this with this time. So we actually got two rares in this pack. I don't know if that's a mistake. So our first one is Chromatic Lantern. Um, it is a 3-3 artifact, and I know that's expensive. Um, for lands you control, have tap, add one mana of any color, and you can tap it to add more mana of any color. So, Chromatic Lantern. It is $7. No, nope, it's actually $7.50 on TCG player. So you basically just, if you sold this right now, you get back all the money you just spent. We also, we got two. We got two rares. We got Experimental Frenzy. And if you may not, may not be able to see, but this is a foil Experimental Frenzy. I have a friend that plays mono red. He would love this. It's probably one of the better cards out there. Experimental Frenzy. So, it says it's $1, but it's a foil. So, $7.50. So, these two together basically just bought this whole box. So if I sold these, I can get another box. But I don't want to, because these cards are insanely good. Chromatic Lantern, play a Nimizid deck. See how far you get with that. That's really good for fixing mana. Experimental Frenzy. In the mono red deck, okay, I'm just going to explain Experimental Frenzy. Say, it's one red and three generic for an enchantment. It says you may look at the top card of the library at any time. You may play the top card of the library. You cannot play cards in your hand. And you can pay a red and three colorless to destroy Experimental Frenzy. So, um, Exile Hate. Oh, we're going to play Terminance or, um, or Exile Everything. In response, I'll tap four, destroy it, so it doesn't go Exile. See? I wish this wasn't a video now, because all my friends are gonna know that I have this big card. So, uh, out of everything so far, we got a Chromatic Lantern, we got Experimental Frenzy, Guardian Project, Ravnica of War, and Temple of Melody. So, we got Scryland, a, a Mana Fixer, and an Experimental Frenzy, or uh, basically entered Battlefield Draw card. And we got a board wipe. And we got uh, two artifacts, one, two enchantments, one artifact, one sorcerer, and one land. That's my rares. And of course, I got these five from the colors. So overall, um, this box was, if I sold everything back right now, just the Chromatic Lantern and the Experimental Frenzy would have bought me a whole new box and I could keep all this. Um, but just overall, if you are going into a new set, don't buy a booster box unless you know that you're going to get something good out of it. I would suggest either a booster box or you get um, three of the... Um, Three of the boxes, the $30 ones, or he gets five of these. Five of these is equal to a booster box. Uh, three of the 10 booster pack, 80 lands, a dice, and all that. That's equal to it. But the good thing out of this is sometimes you don't need a box like this. You can just use this box because it's safe. It holds all your stuff together you can put it away in a nice little box for you so um that's gonna do it and we're while i finish up i'm gonna put all the cards i just got into this box so 
when you put stuff in the box, you you would want to do it in a good order by color. Red, blue, green, white, black. Put that in the box as the color stuff. And then, oops, well, it fell over. That's great. Um, and then you want the artifacts. All the artifacts go on in. Um, then you got um, your colored colored spells, and then you got your non-basic lands. Um, those Jaya goes in at, in the red area. Um, then you got all the lands, all the 100 basic lands. So overall, this box is 285 cards. In a booster box, you would get 36 times 15, which I don't want to do that math. Um, but it's technically 35 times 13 or 14 because two of the cards are uh, a token and a basic land. So just say 35 times 13 is how many cards you would get. So you would have tokens to go in. I'm gonna leave out the I leave out the rares because I put them in my my uh, binder. So then once that done, I take the separator. Put it right in between. Put it right in between the lands and the cards because it's nice to keep them separated. So overall, in the video, you got a full box. Um, I got five normal rares. Then the Five from the booster pack, which you would probably put in the sleeve. So let me just remind you, for $20, just for $20, you can go to your game store, get one of these boxes, buy one of these for a dollar, and this gets 800, puts 800 cards in there. So you got 10 of those boxes, you got 8,000 cards. Um, so this this box gets you 125 cards from all the recent sets, not just M20, from War Spark, from Guilds, from Ravnica Allegiance. Then you get a hundred basic lands. You get a deck builder's guide. You get a reusable card storage box, and you get the booster packs. And the booster packs, well, this time it actually helped worked out for me. So. That's all we're going to do for today's video. Um, the card affiliate link you should use is cardkingdom.com slash command zone. You will be helping um, the, you'll be helping command zone do their videos as you're buying your um, card products. If you are doing, if you're just going to your local game store, go ahead and buy one of these. Um, Commander 2019 is coming out in about two weeks so please go online and use the affiliate link on card kingdom to um to help support them and pre-order your commander 2019 decks because on august 28th they will be shipping to your house and you will be ready to play commander with all your friends so yeah this box was probably one of the better boxes i've ever had i can't wait to brag about all these nice cards I got. Um, but thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more.